Welcome back to Error Genie. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the out of video memory error in STALKR2, Heart of Chernobyl, on your PC. If you've been facing this issue, just follow these easy steps and we'll get you back into the game in no time. Step 1 Restart your computer. The first thing you should try is a simple restart. Restarting your PC can help clear up temporary system glitches that may be causing the error. Once your system has restarted, check if the issue persists. Step 2. Update your BIOS. Updating your BIOS can sometimes resolve hardware-related issues. Here's how to do it. Go to your computer manufacturer's website, Dell, HP, Lenovo, etc. Look up your specific model number and download the latest BIOS update. If you're on a laptop, make sure your battery is at least 10% charged and your charger is plugged in. Once the update is complete, restart your system. Try launching the game again after the BIOS update to see if it resolves the issue. Step 3. Adjust power settings to power saver mode. To optimize your PC's performance for gaming, switch your power plan to power saver. Type control panel in the Windows search box. Go to hardware and sound, then power options. Select power saver. Save your settings and try running the game again. You can also try the balanced or high performance power plans if power saver doesn't work. Step four, verify game files, Steam. Sometimes missing or corrupted files can cause this error. Verifying the integrity of your game files might help. Open Steam and go to your library. Right click on STALKER2 and select properties. Go to the Installed Files tab and click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Let the process complete and then try launching the game again. Step 5. Use DX11 or DX12 in launch options. Some users have found that switching between DX11 and DX12 can solve the issue. Here's how you can change this. Right click on your game in Steam and select Properties. In the Launch Options field, type dash DX11 or dash DX12 Click OK, then launch the game. If DX12 doesn't work, try DX11 or remove the launch option completely. Step 6. Adjust CPU settings with Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. If you have an Intel CPU, adjusting the core ratio using Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility might help. Download and install Intel Extreme Tuning Utility from the Intel website. Open the tool and lower the CPU core ratio to 52 to 55. Apply the settings then restart your computer and try launching the game again. Step 7. Disable Turbo Mode – Advanced Disabling Turbo Mode can lower your CPU performance, but it may help resolve the error. Download and install Throttle Stop. Open Throttle Stop and check Disable Turbo. Save the settings, then restart the game. If this lowers performance, you can always re-enable Turbo after you're able to play the game. Step 8. Install Visual C++ Redistributable Packages Missing Visual C++ files can cause issues with running certain games. Here's how to install the necessary packages. Go to the Microsoft Visual C++ download page. Download and install both x86 and x64 versions. After installation, restart your computer. Step 9. Perform a clean graphics driver installation. Sometimes, outdated or corrupted graphics drivers can cause the out-of-video memory error. Here's how to do a clean installation. Go to the NVIDIA or AMD website and download the latest driver for your graphics card. Select Custom Installation, then check Perform a Clean Installation. Follow the installation process and restart your PC when complete. Step 10. Enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Enabling this setting can improve your system's performance. Here's how. Type Graphics Settings in the Windows search box and select it. Scroll down to Advanced Graphics Settings. If Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling is off, turn it on. Step 11. Delete or rename save files. If all else fails, you can try deleting or renaming your save files. Note that this will reset your game progress, so make a backup if you want to preserve your saves. Open File Explorer and go to This PC then C colon backslash users bracket. Your username bracket backslash app data backslash local. Find the STALKER2 folder and delete the config file. 
you can also rename the entire save folder to force the game to create a new one. Step 12, run the game from the installation folder. Try running the game directly from the installation folder instead of through Steam or other launchers. Go to the STALKER2 installation folder, right-click on the game XE file, and select Properties. Under the Compatibility tab, check Run this program as administrator and click OK. Launch the game directly from here. Step 13. Adjust virtual memory settings. Increasing your system's virtual memory can help if you're running out of video memory. Type Advanced System Settings in the search box and click on it. Go to the Advanced tab and click Settings under Performance. In the Virtual Memory section, uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size. Set a custom size based on your total RAM. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM, set Initial Size to 24,576 MB and Maximum Size to 49,152 MB. Click Set then restart your computer. Step 14. Reinstall the game. As a last resort, you can uninstall and reinstall the game on a different drive, preferably an SSD. This will give you a fresh installation and may resolve the issue. Right-click the game in your library and select Manage Uninstall. Once uninstalled, restart your computer. Reinstall the game to a new location, preferably an SSD, and try running it again. That's it. Hopefully, one of these steps helped you fix the out of video memory error in STALKER2. If this video helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.